So I was looking through Instagram and I saw a pair of these pop up in my feed and I instantly wrote and I was like, dude, I gotta get a pair of these. And APL actually reached back out and said, yeah, yeah, we got you. We'll send you uh, some of these for yourself and for your wife. And so this is them making good on that promise. Uh, I got two of these in hand here and this is the Streamline model. And so this is the women's colorway, super dope colorway right here, first of all. And look at that shoe, definitely a nice looking uh, pair of running shoes. And then this is the men's colorway that I chose uh, because of the crazy uh, zebra kind of lines on it. I just was drawn to this one specifically. It looked really cool. And so I went with a white and black colorway uh, for mine. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a look at the Streamline from APL and let you guys know my thoughts. Let's go ahead and jump in the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. Much appreciated. And if you guys actually wanna buy a pair of Streamlines, you can check the link in the description. It'll take you over to APL's site. But thank you APL for sending my pair over, but more importantly, sending my wife over a pair. Again, like I said, these are some of her favorite shoes to run in and work out and all that other stuff. So it's exciting for her to be able to get a brand new pair uh, from you guys and this crazy new Streamline model. Now I'll pull up the website and give you a couple of the tech details and stuff from their site. But from an average consumer's perspective, I'll let you know I got these I tried them on and I was very surprised with the overall comfort of the shoe first of all the midsole stack is massive and I've tried APLs before I have a couple pairs of the running shoes and the basketball shoes even that they sent over previously now recently I did a top 10 video for summer um, and it's hilarious because I actually featured APL and it's kind of funny because the shoes that I was featuring and talking about were like these ones with the tech loom upper but also this firmer thin midsole and I was actually saying I really like that too. It gave me a nice alternative to the, the max comfort sort of sneakers that I try from other companies. And I knew that APL had a nice low stack there and my wife really likes them, low to the ground feel and a little bit of a firmer midsole. And some people really, really prefer that uh, feel. My wife is one of those people so you guys already know, I always prefer the soft, squishy midsoles for the most part, but sometimes it's nice to have that break and I'll wear the APLs on a bike ride or something like that just because it's a nice, uh, firmer shoe. But then when I saw the images of these after I created that video, I was like, no way, they have a new soft, squishy, like looking running shoe. So of course I wanted to try them, but I'll have to tell you guys straight out of the box, they do feel really nice, soft, squishy on feet. You get some forefoot pop there, some heel strike, pop there definitely softer than anything that I've tried from them uh, in the past the upper is very minimal and very breathable as you could see you could see through this one it kind of reminds me of like that Nike zoom fly upper from the last couple years ago same as the tongue is very very thin very very minimal uh, and very breathable then you do have a couple extra fused on layers which make it look nice obviously I really like the look of this one it just looks crazy and fast with the black uh, lines through the shoe it just gives this this one specifically I, I just really really dig the midsole is giant chunky though as you could see has a little bit of a widow's peak here up the back but it also extends really far out as you could see so with the forefoot being really wide and the heel strike area being really wide as well like it felt good on feet even for a little bit of a wider foot uh, I felt like I was well supported in these shoes the crazy thing to me is the price is $300 but that's like APL for you man a lot of their products are definitely not cheap so a couple words from APL APL is always pushing the limits with what is possible in performance and the newest introduction of the streamline is our purest most purpose-built running shoe to date a streamline by definition is a design that presents very little resistance to a flow of air increasing speed and ease of movement to achieve superior comfort cushioning and speed that the APL streamline delivers we created a completely new midsole and outsole made from our newest compound, APL Future Foam. The APL Future Foam running midsole compound was developed to provide exceptional compression, rebound, and energy return through strenuous testing over the past 24 months. The midsole service provides horizontal channels carved out by the wind to make each stride smoothly flowing through the air. Additionally, a slanted forward-leaning shank plate is sandwiched between the two pieces of midsole to help promote forward motion upon foot strike. The midsole sits atop a lightweight two-piece rubber outsole that provides excellent traction along your journey. The upper is made of APL Aerolux, a combination of materials all working together to provide ultimate performance and comfort. The APL Aerolux combine a lightweight woven textile that is breathable and strong with the layers of support and vector flow lines to improve airflow around the foot and reduce drag. The upper features strategic areas of reinforcement to give you your support that you need with the ventilation you desire. The integrated lacing structure allows you to customize your fit to keep your shoe as tight or as loose as you'd like. The streamlined features a microfiber collar 
and tongue trim along with a 3D molded padded heel to reduce friction and make all the inner touch points incredibly comfortable. And the weight of a men's 9.5 is 9.6 ounces. The lacing system on these shoes is definitely something that I had to get used to because it wasn't just a crisscross back and forth all the way up. It was a crisscross and then up one and then back. So it was interesting. It does provide a little extra lockdown uh, in those specific areas though. So it's kind of something that I'm thinking about utilizing in other sneakers uh, actually going forward because I actually really like the way that they were able to, to utilize uh, the lace holes that they they did but that's part of the reason why i think you have so many lace holes on each side because they um they were going crisscross and then up uh to the next one on the same side and then back over so kind of confusing but as soon as you try to loosen them up you realize oh yeah you can't just loosen them you have to like loosen them and then go in and then loosen on one side and then pull it out all in all it was a really good experience on feet definitely worth giving a try $300 is the price point though. That is pretty steep. Hopefully you can get a discount code on their website. I do see that they usually have them when you sign up for like an email address and stuff like that. But uh, check to see if it's excluded from that before you sign up. The design elements of the shoe definitely give it a nice, fast, crazy look. I love the wife's colorway as well. It's that rose dust and champagne color uh, to it. Uh, it just looks really, really clean. So now that we got a lot of information out of the way, like I'll just give you guys, I guess, off the top of my head, three things that I really like couple maybe two or three things that I don't like as much about the shoe we'll start off with the things that I like though first of all this colorway is super nice I love the streamlined name and then also how you have that streamlined lines uh, on the sides of the shoe and then around it looks like it's going to be a logo but it's not like an APL logo or anything like that and I like that uh, the, I guess it's the second thing is that the fact that this is not like a logoed pair of sneakers you look at it it looks like a very fancy runner but it doesn't have like a bunch of crazy branding it has APL on the bottom insole and on the tongue and that's pretty much it. It's pretty, um, it's pretty anonymous, which I think a lot of people would be able to appreciate, especially for like those people doing movie stuff. I mean, these ones would probably be an easy one to throw on like a scene where somebody's running and, uh, you know, not have to cover up that Nike swoosh on the sign if they had to do that. Uh, but the other thing is that a thing that I like is the uh, midsole. The midsole is extremely nice. It's soft, squishy for sure. It's not the softest on the market. It's not the firmest on the market though. But uh, if I had to compare it to anything, I would almost compare it to Nike React. I think it's a little bit firmer than Nike React, but it still does have a really nice feel on feet, and you definitely feel some squish uh, walking around in these things, which I, I thought was very, very impressive, especially uh, coming from APL because some of their previous products were very, very minimal. A couple of things I didn't like. One, first of all, the sizing for me was a little bit snug. I went with a 9.5 men's. 9.5 men's was a little bit snug for me on the toe box area. So just throwing that out there. If I wear thin socks, I can do okay with these. Ideally, I always recommend ripping out the insole too if you, for a last ditch effort, but that insole is actually pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna leave them in and just wear them. And so hopefully they'll just mold to my foot a little bit more as I wear them. I think for myself, being a wide footer and everything else, I think a size 10 would have fit me better. And so if I have to nitpick for the other things that I don't like, quote unquote, I guess the lacing system, how it goes back and forth a little bit, it's kind of weird. It makes me wanna just relace them uh, ground up to make it easier since it's more familiar to myself, but it's not bad by any means. It just took me a minute to go ahead and uh, loosen everything up. And if I had to complain about one last thing, I would say the heel collar around the back here rubs a little bit on my ankle. Uh, I was wearing really low, thin uh, ankle socks. So when I was doing that, this little section back here rubbed a little bit. And so I found that a little bit of a nuisance, but not anything where it was like unwearable or left anything like uh, on the back of my heel or, you know, blistered or anything. But it's something to note if you're going to wear them, sometimes this might wear on the back of your heel a little bit. Uh, at least it did for myself. That's my thoughts though on these. Drop some comments in the comment section. What do you guys think about the APL Streamline? I think it's a nice option for people that want something a little bit a premium and something different, not something that other people are gonna have. But my wife really likes the APL line as well. And this is gonna be the one that I'm probably gonna be wearing the most now. Not that I didn't like the other ones, uh, but the fact that they have a comfort version for me, like obviously a no brainer. But anyways, that's the video. If you guys wanna buy a pair, check the link in the description. And hopefully you guys have a good day out there. If you guys have suggestions for other footwear that you guys would like to see uh, from a casual, just drop a comment or hit me up on Twitter and let me know. I always appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos uh, very soon. Peace, guys.